All right, BJ from Board Game Gumbo. I've got Jake and Danielle from the Draft Mechanic Podcast here, and Danielle's got one to talk about. Let's see if I can get a picture of that and, and maybe pronounce it right. Mm-hmm. It's I would say pot de vin, but or pot de vin. And I mean, if, is... we're, if we're going to say it in North Carolina, it's pot de vin. Pot de vin. Um, but I believe when I looked it up and tried to pronounce, uh, tried a pronunciation K, it was pot de vin. Pot de vin. Which um, is, is just the word for revenge. Um, and <laughs> it is a trick-taking game where you are... Yeah, I mean, you're doing your standard t- trick taking. There is a suit that is played, and you have to follow the suit unless you can't follow the suit. And then you either play the Trump suit or you play off suit, and you're going to win if you play the Trump suit. And you're definitely not going to win if you play off suit. Yeah. And you have to follow the suit. And the suit is the characters. You're looking at this very lovely side eye lady at the moment. She is one of the four <laughs> characters. Let me throw now, up something for you. Then. Now you're looking at BJ. Um, yeah, there we go. But there's four main portrait on the card and that's what you're using to do the trick taking but if you look at the bottom there is a secondary set of symbols that you are collecting in a sort of graduated point system if you've ever played fox in the forest where you're attempting to win either a very small number of tricks or all of the tricks this is similar to that where you're trying to collect a certain number of each of those secondary symbols which are just an icon and a color on the bottom while you're playing this trick taking game Mm -hmm. and at the same time there is a high card in each suit that you're trying not to take because if you take the high card you're going to take negative points for taking the pot de vin which is the name for the 13 in each category Uh, it is in box and of course you want to be in the you want to be in the middle not on the outliers if i remember right or am i wrong on that no, uh, Fox in the Forest, you want to win either very few or all of the tricks, I believe. Okay, you don't want to be in the middle. Okay. Yeah, I think in Pot de Vent, mm-hmm. you are trying to sort of hit a sweet spot in the middle. Mm-hmm. So you want to get a few of each of the suit, but you don't want to get a ton of each of them because once you get over a certain threshold, it's not valuable to you. Are you familiar with Chris Ray's new trick-taking guild on BGG? Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm I'm in there. Okay, was, was Pot de Vent mentioned in there? Mm-mm. I don't think so. Might, if not, might be, it's be in there. Get it in there. <laughs> might be something interesting. So, 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 where do you get Pod Van? Who's who's the uh, publisher on that? It is from Thundergriff Games. It's okay. the image you were showing before of the woman in the green dress looking all side eye with the title in purple is the box cover. It's a white box, mm-hmm. and it's just a little little card box. And they are, I, th- I think, they're selling it pretty much everywhere. We picked it up from Miniature Market at Geekway. So this is technically not a 2018 game. It's a 2017 game. But we got it in 2018, so I'm counting it. Yeah. And I absolutely have to call out how amazing the artwork from Weberson Santiago is. I absolutely love his art from uh, Bloody Inn when I first found out, mm-hmm. you know, that he was doing board game art. And mm-hmm. since that point, like anything he does art in, even the new like negotiation game that's coming out from Robert Burke that he's doing art in, which is not a game I ever would have considered. I'm like, but it's... It's whoever's an art, and it's probably pretty <laughs> cheap. Um, you just so you gotta get I absolutely it. love that style. So. so what what would I know his art from from other games? Would would I recognize it from other games? He did Age of War, which is no longer out. He did the Brazilian version of Coup. If yeah. you've seen that hmm. really stylized version of Coup, he did that. He did um, Bloody In. He did. Okay. Some game with sunflowers, which is really very off-brand for him that I can't remember the name of. <laughs> he's got a couple. Of, he's got a couple of new ones coming out. He's doing the the new Robert Burke game, Kings something. Jake's pulling it up for me. I'm so, trying. I'm trying. So that I can. Uh, tell you. And they just announced. Wow, uh, Fuji. Oh yeah, he's doing the art for Fuji, which is the next uh, Wolfgang Warsh game. It's, I mean, it's striking art. It's something I, I mean, I can't, I can't think, think of anything that remotely looks like it. You know, he it's, also it's did unique. one of the board game geek art posters mm-hmm. that they did, where okay. they did those very stylized versions of them. Sure, he did, he did one of those as well. It was the Feast for Odin. Okay, was the uh, the one he did for Board Game Geek. Oh, well, there the you go. Father posted the link for you right there. There he if is. Anybody wants to find uh, finding uh, Felix, and that's for Pasar- Pasaraya. Pasaraya. Right. Yeah. yeah. So that was nice of Steve O'Rourke to do that. 